Today we're going to show you how to paint Bonclo from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys, this is Nisa from Den of Imagination. I have a tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be Bonklo, painted by one of our painters Maché and narrated by Agnieszka. This is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! Hi guys and welcome in our new tutorial. Today we are going to paint the Bonklo from Whiskey's Dungeons and Dragons series. And here are colors that we are going to use. Chocolate brown, deck tan, dark Prussian blue, Luftwaffe uniform from World War II, black, dark red, scarlet, skin wash ink, green gray, violet ink, pale gray blue, and off white. We will start with the base coat. Take chocolate brown and round brush size 3. For bigger surfaces we would use white brush, but because this model is smaller, the round brush with the sharp tip will work better and will allow us to get inside the folded parts of the sculpture. Normally the first step would be using primer, but whiskets are models that are already primed, so we can skip this part. And also, to adjust the color of the primer to our needs, we will use darker shade of brown to create shadows for bone part of the body. So take a little bit of your paint, put it on your palette and mix it with water to make paint smoother and easier in usage. And start to apply the first layer. You may want to paint the base coat with the two thinner layers, but if you feel confident, you can paint with just one. The case is for you to cover the surface evenly and to leave no places unpainted. Just try not to use too much paint. Too thick layer would cover the details of the sculpture. Acrylics get dry very quick, so it will be difficult later to clean it off. For now you do not need to worry about overpainting other parts. Later we will paint them with covering colors. Now that our first layer is ready and dry, we can proceed with the second step. Take deck tan and wide brush size 6. We are going to start with the dry brush technique. For dry brush technique, the best choice are wide brushes because they allow us to cover more surface evenly. Take a little bit of the paint and put it on the palette. Then dip the tip of the brush in the paint. Very important thing is that you can't wet your brush. The bristles need to be completely dry. After taking a paint on your brush, wipe it out on the paper towel. When the brush will leave like a mist effect on the towel, the brush is ready for use. Start to stroke the surface of the model with quick movements like you would clean it from the dust. By repeating the movement, you will gradually build the layer of color. Apply it on the painted surface. Soon enough, you will start to see the texture of skin, muscles and bones. With this step, we are going to make a second layer of highlights with the dry brush technique again. So take off-white color and with the white brush size 6, apply the second layer of dry brush. But here is the thing. Try to concentrate your movements only on the chosen parts of the model, especially those when you want your light to be stronger. And very important part, your brush needs to be clean as well as dry. So if you are cleaning your brush with water, you need to wait until the brush will be dry again. You can use other cleaners that will get dry faster, or you can invest in more brushes to have a clean one next to you. In this scheme, the colors may not differ greatly from one another, but that may not be the case in the future. Dirty brush may change the next color that you are going to use and thus destroy the effect you wanted to achieve. This is even more visible while using darker color before the brighter one. Now 
Now we are going to emphasize the dry brush layer with glaze. Take two colors, off-white and dectan, and mix them together with 1 to 1 ratio. Add water to it to make them more transparent. Clean your brush, wipe it out with a paper towel and only then start to apply the paint on the parts that we want to be brighter or covered more. So why we are using one color with two different techniques? Dry brush is a technique that always makes the color weaker. So to make our light stronger we can apply the same color with different technique like glaze. And also glaze may be quite challenging for the beginners, so to make it easier you may prefer the surface with dry brush. Because the color is weaker we can use it as a half tone of the color and thus a perfect background for glaze. With glaze itself we would need to gradually build the tension with layers. But because of the nature of the dry brush we can make the process faster. While glazing remember that you should give the specific layers time to get dry. Try not to haze the process. Acrylics works better on dry surfaces and if you would work on still wet layer, there is a possibility for you to take off with the brush the whole layer. Now take two paints, dark Prussian blue and black and mix them together. Take round brush size 3 and start to apply base coat on the clothes of the bone claw. Because the color of the clothes and the colors of the body are so different, and we are using dry brush technique which is not very precise, it was best for us to finish the body first and then take care about the clothes. So now carefully paint the first layer and trying not to overpaint already painted parts. Next, take dark Prussian blue and white brush size 10 and repeat the dry brush technique for the clothes. Take a little bit of the paint and put it on the palette. Dip the tip of the brush in the paint, then wipe it out on the paper towel. When you will see the mist of the color, you are ready to start. And here are some extra tips for the dry brush. As we now know, the brush needs to be dry. Do not take too much paint on your brush because paint is still a liquid and it may make our brush wet. Wipe out the brush thoroughly, even if the layer will be too weak at the beginning, with some time you will make it strong enough. It is always easier to add some layer than take one off. And also, wet brush will cover the surface of thick and granulated layer and it may get in between the recesses. Acrylics are difficult to clean after drying and even more so after dry brush technique. To achieve the smooth surface your movement should be as gentle as you can. For the second layer of highlights take Luftwaffe uniform color and with white brush size 10, use dry brush technique to create a light on the clothes. Use it only on chosen areas because we do not want to lose the dark color of the clothes. With black clothes it is very important to be careful with highlighting, because if we use too much of it, the clothes will no longer be black. So use this color carefully to make light stronger, but not to influence the color of the clothes. Take pale grey-blue color and run brush size 1. Put your paint on the palette and mix it with water. 
Next, use the tip or side of your brush to draw the lines alongside the folds of the fabric. You do not have to paint over of all folds, choose just few most important ones that need some strong blacks of the light. With lining, the most important subject is the tip of the brush and the paint density. You should take care that your tip is always sharp. That means, of course, washing your brushes properly, but during the painting itself, you should clean it with water from time to time to keep the bristles clean and wet. Wet bristles, if kept in good condition, get together at the end. So while painting, if your tips splits, just wet your brush. The same with paint. If you can't draw a nice line, most likely the paint is too dense, so you should add some water. Now take the black color again and with round brush size 3, use it to paint the claws. Be careful not to overpaint the other parts of the hands. For the next step, take dark red and white brush size 10. Use dry brush technique to create the highlights on the claws. Because this part of the model may be very fragile, support it with your hand to get more stable surface. Remember that dry brush is not a very precise technique, so try to avoid the bone part of the hands. If the body and the claws would be in similar color, that would not be an issue but since the colors of those two parts are completely different, we must be careful. To make it easier, focus your brush on the tips of the claws. To make the light on the clothes brighter, take scarlet color and with round brush size 1, mix it with water to prepare it for glazing. Paint the ends of the clothes with it. You can build the color by layering it, or you can just use lining. Take the dark red again and round brush size 1. Use it to paint the red flesh on the arms of the model as well as the jaw. Be careful to not overpaint other parts of the body.
after giving this layer time to dry, take skin wash and with round brush size 1 use it to create shadows on the red areas. When you will finish, wait for this layer to dry. Now prepare the scarlet and off-white color and use it to create lighter shade of red. With round brush size 1, use lining and glaze to paint the highlights on the red flesh. With this step, take green, grey and dry brush painted previously with black paint base. Use for it white brush size 6. With black paint and round brush size 3, Paint the eyes areas of the model to make deep shadows. Use it also on the teeth and base as well. For the details on teeth, take off white color and with round brush size 1, paint small dots on them. If the paint doesn't want to attach itself to the surface, add more water to it. After this, take violet ink and round brush size 3. Use it on specific parts of the model to add some color the same as with skin wash. 
If you will feel that you added too much, just clean your brush with water, dry it out on the paper towel and take the excess of ink from the model. And your model is ready. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. I really like the finished results. We are really curious about your results too. So tag us and Zenith Imagination in your social medias and share your results with us. And don't forget to smash the like button and let us know in the comment section what you think of it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.